and welcome back to Nobland Makeup, where we do makeup and body paint tutorials, usually with a cosplay twist, and today I'm playing with an eyeshadow palette that's not Amrezy. Go me! <laughs> um, this one's gonna be the Urban Decay Wired palette. I got it before everything shut down, and I waited a couple weeks to play with it, so there you go! <laughs> so I'm gonna take the blue shade from that palette, and I should probably grab the palette so I can tell you exactly what shade that is. Hold on. The shade's called Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> but I went in and I started sketching out the shape that I wanted to do um, with that color. This is going to be kind of like a cut crease tutorial, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to title it yet. You guys obviously already know. Um, and then blending that out. I have a love-hate relationship with this particular shade of blue, no matter what the brand. For some reason, they're always patchy and they always like look beautiful in the pan, but it doesn't exactly transfer to the eyeball. Thankfully, this one... <laughs> After a little bit of like working with it, it kind of does work. In the pan, it has a little bit of glitter, and I guess you can kind of see it like on the eye, but it pretty much looks matte to like when you're looking at it in person, you know what I mean? Um, and then I took some NYX eyeshadow pencil or eye whatever pencil in milk. I don't know what it's called, I'll have it in the description or something. <laughs> but I finally found mine. I lost it for a while. Like a couple weeks but I found it and I'm gonna use that to kind of carve out a shape in my eye where I'm gonna put fluorescent it's like a light turquoise kind of color I guess a little more blue than that but um yeah this mm. so it kind of worked to put that white in the crease um, to blend it out and make it look smooth I just got fed up and used my finger and then at some point just use the um, actual jumbo pencil to place the the product on my eye because I was not feeling this brush it's good for detail work like putting stuff in creases and stuff like that but um, not so much for this either that or I just don't have patience it could be either or like being honest it, it's probably a little of both but I patted that into my eye, making sure that the color is nicely distributed and even. And then I took some of that fluorescent color. It looks a little more greeny in here, but it's a little more bluish in person. I put that on top of the base. So the reason I put this base down is so that that fluorescent color looks more vibrant. When you use it by itself, it still shows up pretty nice, but it doesn't pop as much as it does like this. Yes, I've done a few looks that I've worn to work with this particular palette so I feel confident when I say that <laughs> and then um, I just kind of blended a little bit more of that darker blue onto that just have a nice blend and applied a little more of the jumbo pencil on the inner corners where I was gonna apply glitch it's a white eyeshadow in that spot if you don't have this particular palette that's fine like just grab something that's kind of close to it <laughs> I mean, what else can I say? Um, and I applied that white in the inner corner. This one, matte whites usually come out kind of patchy, not patchy, chalky. So I wasn't really surprised, but I actually liked it. It works, the same thing with fluorescent. It works better if you have a white base, just have something for it to stick to. Um, by itself, it's, it's just kind of okay. And then I applied more of that gorgeous chaos color on the lower lash line kind of acting as eyeliner but also kind of not um you'll see why in a second but i didn't bring that all the way into my eye um just because i have smaller eyes and i don't want them to look even smaller if you have large eyes and you want to make them look smaller go ahead and line your whole eye that is perfectly up to you and then i used probably my favorite thing ever <laughs> suva beauty's hydra liners they're great if you don't mind something that's not waterproof in the slightest is I say it's kind of like a body paint but you know I like them though their colors are, are pretty unique too the only thing like I said it's it's not gonna be water resistant at all it's water activated so as soon as you get it in water it's coming off but if you guys want a full video on how to do like winged eyeliner I'll have that somewhere and then I applied some mascara, and I didn't show it on here because I think I lost the footage or something, but I did take a little bit of um, Diamond Balm from Fenty and applied a little bit of glitter just on the, in the center part of my eye because I'm extra like that. 
I don't know, this look was a little too matte and I wanted to use some glitter. So there you go. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not pink and it's not the Amrezy palette. So does that mean that's a little bit of personal growth? I guess. <laughs> But let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And let me know what else you want to see in the comments down below. Let me know like what color combinations or something. I am very bored and I would really like a challenge. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye!